one of the things that came up um, with a few really close spots was uh, raise calling situations around 15 big blinds. This is specifically one of the hands that I marked. There was another one with almost the same stack size versus a different villain uh, with queen 10 off. So both hands are, are really marginal spots that can go both ways depending on the villain that you're playing. Um, and we can make a few conclusions as, as we go through this uh, analysis. Um, but one of the conclusions, of course, is going to be that it's very player dependent. For instance, I don't know that this was necessarily good against uh, the player in question here, since he seemed like most likely a fish, and therefore might have more of a value range rather than a polarized three betting range. Um, however, uh, I, I still, even after playing five games against him, don't really have that much information on his three betting range to, to quite have concluded that. So let's just look at it and um, see what happens. So in this case, I had queen jack, and um, I ended up raise calling, but I think I mentioned in the last video that it was thin, and um, and can again, it could be different. Um, it's going to have very different value versus different opponents. I think in this case, our opponent had a hand. He had ace queen, but of course, that's not um, that doesn't really narrow much down. Um, if if you see a bluff, it would at least give us a little bit more information about his range. But if you see a value hand, it kind of doesn't because you don't know how much uh, bluffs are going to be in that same range. So let's copy this hand. Let's copy this uh, hand history and post it into uh, ICMizer. So we have queen jack in a small blind. We raise 60 and we get shoved on. The first most important thing is to assign a shoving range for our opponents. Um, it's quite logical that Jack's plus or Queen's plus can be removed since a lot of players, even at 15 big blinds, will will three bet not all in. Uh, even regulars do that quite a bit. Uh, if you have a dynamic and experience with one regular, um, it's uh, and and you know and there's a lot of three betting and three bet shoving going on. It's it's more likely that they might include these hands in their shove range so as not to telegraph their hand uh, with a small raise and so as to strengthen their um, three bet shoving range a bit. Um, but against uh, unknowns, I think for the most part it's going to be uh, taken out. And here, uh, I'm just trying to get up to 25% without those hands, and um, this is about as value as it can get. I mean, you could maybe take out um, uh, these off suits and put in, like, let's say, Queen Jack suited uh, and King Nine suited. Uh, and this would be kind of the most merged available. I mean, uh, in theory, you could just take out these as well and put them up here, but I really don't think Jack 10 suited is shoved that much. Um, uh, at these stack sizes, so I, I don't want to be too unrealistic and too theoretical here. If we calculate it like this, um, we can see we come up with a minus 1.3, which is actually significantly negative EV. Um, but what's interesting, well, there's a lot of interesting things. First of all, we want to glance at this entire range. Most of the plus EV hands that are raised calls in this range are going to be raised calls versus any different distribution of 25% three bets because this is one of the worst distributions. Um, you could it could get a little bit worse, if, like I said, if they're shoving queens plus and um, and being even more merged. But again, I don't think that's that's very common, so I'm I'm not going to go there yet. But for now, we can see that this is while this is minus EV, like suited hand would be extremely plus EV. A bit pretty much every suited Broadway is extremely plus EV raise call. Um, uh, but interestingly, you know, some offsuit aces uh, will not be included there uh, in our calling range. Uh, they're going to be similar EV to what Queen Jack off has here. Uh, before we get too uh, excited about those results meaning uh, so much, let's uh, experiment with some different types of three betting ranges uh, that also might be 25%. For instance, if you add in, <clears throat> go back to what I just uh, had before, like uh, take out King 10, King 9 suited, Queen Jack suited, and put in a few... Um, uh, offsuit connectors and, and, and leaving these suited connectors and um, quite quickly Queen Jack becomes a very profitable raise call. Um, I mean 0.26 is not as, as, as plus as the minus 1.3 we just saw but, but very clearly you're not going to be getting 3 bet shoved on. You're also going to be getting flatted which is going to be plus EV a lot. You're also, a lot of other things are going to happen that are going to make this uh, uh, better to raise call than just to sh open shove. So um, so it's very important to think about when you are deciding how to construct your, deciding what hands to, to, to fold versus shoves and, and call versus shoves. It's very important to, to think about what kind of hands that your opponent um, is shoving and how his range is going to, um, how merged or how polarized his range might be. The more bluff hands 
obviously, the more those marginal uh, middling hands are going to be really good calls. Uh, now, again, it'll take some time to sort of know that about an opponent, so I don't think you should um, expect to know that right away. 